today I'm gonna speak to you about how to grow um, nice aquarium plants. Uh, what's it gonna take to uh, grow them, to make them look pretty. Um, so first thing before you set up a planted tank is to choose uh, the substrate you want in it. Um, my preferred choices are fluorite, aqua soil, miracle Grow clay. Um, these are all nutrient-rich um, soils that you can put at the base of your aquarium. And I suggest covering it with like sand or um, you know pebbles or something because um, it, it's really dusty, all of these, because it's like natural soil, right? So you don't want the dust to go everywhere every time you move something in your aquarium or you clean you know the bottom or something. So I'll, I'll suggest like just covering it with something um, of your preference, whatever your aquascape is. Like here, I have some aqua soil and it's covered by regular clay sand. So, and it looks natural, it looks nice. Um, here I have some um, pool filter sand covering uh, the initial aqua soil. So you see, um, it's nice. Um, another thing for um, plants to grow well, they need good lighting. Uh, lately, you know, the trend is a lot about LED lights, but you have to make sure those LED lights are for plants. Like I'm going to show you right here. This is a uh, marine land um, LED for plants. And it's a uh, different spectrum. Let me just show you. Um, it's a lot more white and less blue than if you go with LEDs for, um, you know, reef tanks. So if you're going with LEDs, uh, get ones that are said to be for plants, for aquarium plants, uh, fresh water, all right? Um, the other option would be, go with me, are these lights, just a regular neon lights like everybody always has, but not the blue ones because a blue doesn't do anything for plants, either white or a little bit more on the red side. Um, you know, with those kind of lights, it's going to grow a lot better than the blue ones. Blue is always, always keep in mind for like reef tanks. Another option is these light bulbs, 150 watts each, um, really low tech, seriously really low tech um, industrial lights. But look, it's growing really well in here and there's no algae, there's no nothing. Um, the more red plants you have, uh, the more light you'll need, um, the less light you have, well, the more you're gonna plant something like ferns and anubia and you know mosses things like that but if you want red plants red tiger lotus um, these plants you will need uh, definitely a, a lot of light going into your tank if you want like for hair grass you know these little grasses I don't know exactly the name of it hold on let me just zoom it you know all this needs a lot of light directly at it so but not more than that eight to ten hours maximum if you see it starting to grow algae on top of your plants, uh, reduce the uh, number of hours, like to eight hours, um, maybe seven, or do like, I don't know, four hours now, four hours a bit later in the day and turn off the lights in between. So uh, there you go, that covers the lighting. Um, another thing that your plants need is CO2, obviously. Um, if you only have like a shrimp tank, like an Iwagumi or something like this one, um, you don't have many fish in it. Uh, I suggest putting a CO2 system J during like the daytime, not so much at night because at night uh, they don't use CO2. But when the lights are on, um, put on your CO2 system. But if you do have a lot of fish, um, well, yeah, it's not as efficient as a CO2 system, but it's still CO2 going in the water. So a little slower, but it's still good. Or you can just buy liquid CO2, you know, like um, XL and other fertilizers like that. It's liquid carbon. So you can add that to your tank. So yeah, going back to the fertilizers, you can have fertilizers that you put uh, directly uh, into the soil. Like they come in little pebbles and um, normally it's like clay or something else mixed in there. So you would just put it wherever your plants are rooted. Um, or you can buy it in liquid form, it's just like iron supplements, iron really good for red plants, for nubias. So um, those are the fertilizers you should buy for your plants. It's called Flourish, it's called Excel, you know, 
but I really find in your local uh, fish store for plants, uh, depending on which plants you have. Um, so also, for plants, you would probably need some cleaners. I have here some Chinese algae eaters doing a great job all day, all night. Uh, they're cleaning everything. Or you can get some shrimps. Amano shrimps are amazing, you know, at maintaining your plants beautiful and algae free. So, um, yeah, that's how you get nice uh, aquarium plants. Let me see, is there anything else? Oh, yes. <laughs> I took notes today, actually. Um, also, another thing uh, is the pH. You have to make sure your pH is between 6 to 7, 7.6 uh, maximum, because more acidic it is, the worst will grow, they'll just die off. And if it's very hard water, like 8, something like Tanganyika Lake, um, this is like 8 pH. The only plants here that would really nice to survive are these uh, Valisnearias. So, if your pH is very high, not all plants will go in it, most will just dissolve. So, um, if you have a high pH, honestly, no plants. But here, like it's 8, and the Valisnearias are doing very well. So, just take my word on it, these plants do well in high pH, but most plants, like the cute little ones in this tank, are just not gonna grow really well. It's just gonna be dissolving and dying off. So, yeah, that's how you do it. So if you have any questions, uh, just comment below the video. And thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.